Ah, here we go. Here's the, here's the, listen, listen to these words. His overall feeling on Infinite. In fact, I think the product will still be great. The story is a big improvement and the gameplay is much richer. Though the development cycle is too long. Don't expect it to be an uh, uh, epic, or uh, epoch making mat, I don't, what, what the hell does this word even mean? I actually don't actually, I don't know what this means. We're going to learn today. A period of time in a history of person's life, typically one marked by notable events or particular characteristics. He goes, okay, so making masterpiece. Okay, now let's replace. His overall feeling on Gears of War. In fact, I think the product is great. The story is a big improvement and the gameplay is much richer. Though, development cycle is too long. Like, it's super vague and just direction enough to make it sound legit, but it's the most... There's no risk here, right? Like, saying this stuff? You could say this about any game in development. Oh, you know, I think the gameplay is better. I think the story is better. But, uh, you know, it's taking quite a while to make the game. The company executives were overly ambitious. Wow, what game company fucking isn't? They wanted to make Halo Infinite a semi-open world game, so the engine needed to be changed su sufficiently. Well, that's definitely new news that we didn't hear about, like an entire new slip space engine that was created. We didn't have any idea about that. They had to make the game and develop the engine at the same time. Oh, wow, that's crazy. You're telling me that they don't just sit there and wait? And they're like, hey, are you guys done with the game engine yet? We're waiting to make our game. Due to engine defects, many workflows were not ideal. Though, they are much more improved than before. I would fucking hope so if you're making a new engine. If you're gonna make a new engine, you should probably make it better than the last engine. Don't think you want it worse. And, uh, d like, many f workflows were not ideal. Once again, what fucking workflow isn't? And also, I'm sure this is also applying to partly 2020 work from home shit too. That this probably wasn't built to necessarily be worked from home. Like, last year's disastrous demo was because many engine features were not fully implemented at the time. Wow, we didn't know about that either. It's not like the, who, who even, who, who mentioned that? I don't remember. I'd have to go look, dig, dig around reddits and stuff like that. I'd have to go around, dig around the end. We knew this. Again, this is one of those fair enough, like this is a legitimate okay. But uh, once again, every demo ever created doesn't have features implemented into it that the final product will have. It's pretty standard. Don't think that's that should be news to anyone. And once again, kind of already knew that. It was already said. I think in the vi I think it was the first. I think it was the very first blog post. Now that now that it, it the very first infinite blog post potentially. I think. Uh, thanks. Talk about the campaign. Uh, okay. Wait, was that the very first one? Yeah, it's this is the very first one, right? Hmm. Can you speak a bit about the demo and the team's perspective? Primary goal of the campaign. While the aspect generally landed, the reality is that art individuals weren't at the bar we hold to Halo, even in a work in a progress state. Much of the feedback we aligned with our views and work. Uh, still, feedback was humbling and pushed us. Real privilege. Yeah, July was intended to be a very much work in progress slice and reasonable set of key features from global illumination and dynamic time of day to GPU-driven rendering and variable shading, rate shading, all in active development. Much of the graphics team uh, along was focused on achieving high-resolution performance leading up to the demo, which meant several of these features didn't quite get to the level of polish and bug fixing that we wanted. This was known. 
For a variety of reasons, the game's content compared to the original idea has been cut. Same for multiplayer. This led to some things I've made over the years that no one will probably ever see. Welcome to fucking game development. Like, once again, is this a, a real surprise to anyone? I get this might be new to some people who maybe don't have any clue about game development, which is fine, but literally every single game ever created has features cut. Literally. I bet fucking Flappy Bird had features cut from it. Like, it's, that's just how game development works. You are very ambitious at the start, and then you realize, oh shit, we can't do everything. Uh, like, you, you know, you can't do everything, okay? S right, like, and you, you, you refocus and reevaluate what you can and can't do with the amount of time you have, with the budget you have, the manpower, and what's realistic. It's just every, it's every game ever created. The team at 343, especially low-level employees, works very hard. I would fucking hope so. That's their goddamn job. And many of them have experience working overtime until early hours of the morning in the past few years. Crunch confirmed. Now this one, a little bit more, um... I think, is J Jason Schreier is the, the news guy, right? That's the guy is, is, yeah, he's a video game reporter. He, uh, I don't know if you guys remember. Now, th this is, this is now more things that people don't, don't, m might not know about. But Jason Schreier, he's notorious for kind of putting on a lot of like, companies on blast. You know, you put, uh, like the, the CD Projekt Red on blast for their, their insane crunch time of like 120. 10 hour work weeks and he really railed into them i don't know if people remember but jason schreier went to 343 last year like he what he did with cd project red he's like i'm going to 343 and i'm gonna do the exact same thing because i want to make sure they're a good company and he kind of came out and he was like he wrote like a little post like honestly they're fine like they're just there's nothing big enough to even write an article about is basically what he said is like he had a little article that was like they're fine yeah there's a little crunch it's pretty standard across the industry they're not doing anything obscene like it's normal and it's not a good thing crunch is it's part of a lot of industries and it's part it's not gaming gaming i think tech industry is notorious for it for sure and it's not necessarily a good thing um, I know there's arguments to be made that it is a good thing, so understandable, but pretty standard across the industry right now. Not saying that's a good thing, I'm just saying that it is a very, it's more normal to have companies go into crunch than not have companies do crunch right now. And it's changing. It's at, that, that mentality is changing, which is good. Just once again, people got to be aware that, uh, their games are going to take a little longer to make. So, if you have people working less time, it's going to take longer to make. I mean, it's just, it's a give and take, which I think is good. I'm okay with that, personally, but I know some people are going to be all pissed off, like, why are games taking six years to develop now? Well, you didn't want them to work 120 hour weeks. So, that means those other three, three weeks of time, the 40 hours, needs to go into the next few years of, of <laughs> development. So, um, or they have to reevaluate and cut features and do all that stuff. So fair enough. But yeah, Jason Trier went to 343 and he was like, they're doing fine. Like he was like, there's nothing, nothing to, nothing to see here. Uh, nothing he really wrote an article about. So, um, I don't disbelieve this. I absolutely, I would be surprised if 343 didn't have some kind of crunch, but once again, pretty standard along the industry. He now works for certain affinity. Still doing some HI, uh, Halo Infinite outsourcing work, and he feels good to be out of 343's baggage. Okay, but uh, 343 is... Halo Infinite's multiplayer is made by... is A lot of it is made by Certain Affinity, so he's still working at 343. That's a little... That's a different conversation, but... 
Okay, sure. And then it says he clarifies. He says he states he's worried 343 will take action against him and future employees will see him as a liability because people ran with a couple of -of out-of-context sentences. Yes. True. Uh, Hey, how about don't breach your NDA? How's that? Like, if you're worried about that, don't fucking breach NDA. Uh, But the guy also claims the video was not meant to be a source of Halo news. Good. He's not a source of Halo news, and nobody should take the former experience of one employee to be representative of the entire studio and where it is now. Video was him reflecting on his time in the game industry in general, not specifically Halo. There you go. That would be why things were a little bit more... I think that's exactly what it is. I think this was just him talking about his experience in the game industry. There's crunch, features get cut, and people were just like, oh, you're a 343 employee. You must have, must be talking about Halo Infinite. That's what I assume that this is. Is that he was saying these things in general, in a generalization method, but people just linked it to Halo Infinite because he was apparently a former 343 employee. So that would actually make sense why this is, the, again, one of the safest rumors out there. Like, there's no news. I don't know why this is news. Is my like, all of this should just be assumed. I don't. I don't know why, but yeah. He says he has generally, uh, genuinely good experience working at three four three. And if it was a as bad as the media was portraying it to be, he wouldn't have stayed for eight years. The three four B baggage mentors telling him knowing that he couldn't work on new IPs at three four three. Uh, he wanted to try out something new. Fair enough. That's a big thing is like people who want to work on Halo stay at 343. If you don't want to work on Halo anymore, you go to something else. Uh, He still believes that the game was overly ambitious, but that's just his his opinion. Every game ever created is overly ambitious. Doesn't want people to see the cut content as negative because every game and project ever has cut content. Wow. What a fucking surprise. Important. His words on don't expect a masterpiece was him saying, we live in an age where games are massively hyped up. This is accurate. Fans have, I love this guy. If he is the one clarifying all this shit, he sounds like he knows exactly what he's doing. Is that he was just like, hey, yeah. He probably mentioned, yeah, I worked at 343 once. And then someone asked him the question, or or someone asked him, they're like, oh, do you work in the game industry? He's like, yeah, I've been working in the game industry for 10 years. And then they're like, okay, cool. Uh, where where did you work? He's like, well, I've worked at 343 the longest for the last eight years. I'm now at a new studio at Certain Infinity. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. What was your experience like working in the game industry? And then he said all these things, and they're like, ah, so he thinks Halo Infinite is overly ambitious. And he's like, no, 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 hold on. You asked me, you asked me what my experience was in the game industry not the experience working on halo infinite you know like let's not let's let's hold up here don't throw words in my mouth so fair enough so it it sounds like he is trying to like look i none of this was was ever directed this was supposed to be a confident like this was supposed to be a conversation that i had talking about my experience and this got turned into a experience at halo infinite which it was never supposed to be Because he's saying things that are, again, normal. I absolutely believe this. I think one of the reasons a lot of people don't, um, don't like games anymore is because they overhype it for themselves. Halo Infinite, I guarantee you will have a lot of overhype. People have been waiting for this game for so long. It's a Halo game, and it's just been talked about so much. And looking forward to with all the, everyone's, all these rumors and everything that it's giving people unrealistic expectations. Wow. I would, you know, I didn't even read that as I was going to say that, but yeah, it gives people unrealistic expectations of the game. They think they're going to get, and then they don't get it. And it's why I'm not, it's why I don't tend to believe rumors. I don't tend to believe the hype. I don't tend to believe all that stuff because of that reason. I don't want to get unrealistic expectations. I don't want to build. Yeah. I don't want to build. a hype for it that won't live up because what even lives up to the hype you know like if you're hyped up for a game and then you get the game what exactly are you looking for right if it's not exactly what you wanted you're going to be let down no matter what even if it's 
like, uh, you know, I, it's dumb. Especially when the game is trying something brand new for the first time in the series. Mm, su yeah, su yes, true, pseudo true, but yeah. Go into the open world, uh, open mind. That's what I've been saying for the last few months. Wow, this guy is literally saying the exact words that I have said, like, out of my mouth over did i write this post what did i am i the one that wrote this did i because literally i said that what a year ago like i hope i tweeted it out you could go to my twitter and you can just go back and see like hey i just want to bring everyone back to reality is like let's just keep an open mind about halo infinite i was like my one hope for people being excited for infinite there's nothing wrong for it but just keep an open mind. I think with all the changes we're going to have, if people have an open mind, people are going to have potential to actually enjoy the game more than having expectations and it being let down from old games. So literally have said that directly from my mouth face. So my words, this is the burden 343 has to carry. People are expecting the game to be on par with the original games. I Again, I still don't know what they actually expect, but it's fine. His words on the engine being defective is wrong because it's a brand new engine. It still needs updates, as does every engine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's always going to be parts of an engine that aren't as efficient as other parts, and there's always going to be bugs and glitches. What video game or anything have you ever played that didn't have bugs or glitches? Hell, your phone has bugs and glitches. I'm sure you've run into where, like, the touchscreen doesn't work or it lags out or the it doesn't... Your phone has bugs and glitch, like hardware, software, technology, everything has bugs and glitches. Even the hardware. Shovels have, a shovel has a bug and a glitch. Which is, the fucking head can come off of the goddamn shovel sometimes. Or Like, we can go down the rabbit hole of everything has a bug and a glitch in the entire world. <laughs> There's always something defective or wrong that could be made to be better. Always. Mega important, the crunch, he says, was massively overstated. Like I was saying, Jason Trier said the exact same fucking thing. He went there and was like, nah, they're fine. There was no constant crunch. People crunch for different reasons. And that was their personal choice. That's exactly right. I'm personally someone I would be okay with crunch. Depending on it. If I was crunching every week for like an, two years straight, I would have an issue with that. But there are times where I get in a rhythm where I'm like, eight hours is not enough time. Like, you work eight hours straight, and you're like, dude, I'm on a fucking roll. Let's just keep going. And I'll go 12 to 15 hours working on something, no problem, without thinking about it. Because I'm just on a roll, I'm in a zone, and I don't want to stop. So I'm very much someone who's like, yeah, I got no problem with that. But, as he said, personal choice is the key there. People wanted to go the extra mile. Artists tend to get into the zone and just want to keep going. Wow! Holy shit! Just keep pulling the words out of my mouth! God damn! <laughs> just want to keep going. Working from home was part of this. As it was more difficult to focus with kids running around. <laughs> God damn it. So he would often start working later than usual, which explains the early hours in the morning. He was constantly, if he was constantly crunching, he would be able to run his two art channels he uploads content to. 343 also allowed people to take days off to re-energize. No media outlets that cover the story attempted to reach out to him, and when he reached out to them and tried to explain the situation, no one got back to him. I wonder why that is. Overall, almost everything was overstated, and he was annoyed that 343 was getting slandered when, for him, he had a great time working there. Remember that this is just one person. So others may have different experiences, but usually the media runs out, even if it's a semi-translation. i love to see Jason Trier post the video to help. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. You assume correct, like, so he kind of aligns with this, but again, like he, like he said, is like, <laughs> I love this, 
Like he he wrote he went to three four three like a full like a year ago. It was in summer. I, I you'd have to go dig around, but Jason Trier said he was going to go do a a thing on three four three, and I don't know if he posted. But I remember him visiting there and then him saying, like, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, 3 for 3 is, compared to a lot of other game companies, 3 for 3 are fucking saints uh, in how they're handling it. So, I don't, you know, don't quote me on that, but that was, if I remember, that's what I was seeing. Uh, I don't know if that was, like, I don't know if I just heard that from someone or if that's what I saw from Trier. I don't know. It's been fucking a year since I remember seeing something like that. So, I don't goddamn know. Um uh, but anyways, yeah, no, that's exactly how I, how, yep, I am, uh, not surprised by any of that. That was basically exactly what I said, but, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is that, so, 